Hey everyone, welcome back to smart 4 home Today, we're tackling an issue that can save you from a lot of frustration, how to reset your ADT Pulse Gateway. Whether you're troubleshooting connectivity issues or need a fresh start for your ADT security system, resetting your gateway can often do the trick. Let's get started. Why reset the ADT Pulse Gateway? Before we dive into the steps, let's quickly discuss why you might need to reset your ADT Pulse Gateway. Maybe your system is having trouble connecting, showing unexpected errors, or you're planning to connect it to a new network. A reset can help resolve these issues and restore connectivity. Section one, what you'll need. All right, here's what you'll need to reset the gateway. Don't worry, there's no advanced equipment required. Your ADT Pulse Gateway, a small pointed object, like a paperclip. Your WiFi or network details, if you're setting it up again afterward. Section, locate the reset button. First things first, you'll need to locate the reset button on your ADT Pulse Gateway. It's usually found on the back of the device and it might be a tiny recessed button labeled reset. This design keeps it protected from accidental resets, which is where your paperclip or similar tool comes in handy. Section, resetting the ADT Pulse Gateway. All right, now that we've found the reset button, here's how to perform the reset. Remember, once reset, you may need to reconnect your devices to the gateway, so keep your Wi-Fi or network information nearby. With your paperclip or pointed object, press and hold the reset button for about seconds. Release the button once you see the lights on the gateway change or start flashing. This indicates that the reset process has begun. Wait a few minutes while the gateway reboots itself, the lights will stabilize once it's back online. Connect your devices via the ADT Pulse app. Follow the prompts, re-enter Wi-Fi details and check that everything's online. And that's it. Your gateway is reset and good to go. Found this helpful? Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips. Drop any questions in the comments below. See you next time.